Oh, well, it's the uh, 11th of May, so Svetlana went back on the 2nd, and she's been delayed in the UK. She's now uh, not coming back to the 21st, so I've got another 11 days in Durit Sabay, and it's lovely here, it is lovely, but we get a lot of swell from the ferries, particularly the early morning ones where uh, they've got the pedal to the metal heading down to Igemenitsa from places like Venice and uh, Ancona. And uh, yeah, and that causes the boat to rock quite significantly side to side, so much so that um, things fall off shelves and uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi there, we're Andy and Svetlana. In the summer of 2021, we packed our dogs in the car and uh, made our way to Greece to start our new life as liverboards on a sailboat. This is our journey, I hope you enjoy it, and please like and subscribe. Alexa, play Radio 2. Playing BBC Radio 2. So, with some time on my hands, I decided to do a bit of exploring by dinghy. Uh, I've always been fascinated with the history of Corfu, the island, the citadel and so on. So I decided I'm going to go through the moat that separates the main citadel from uh, the old Corfu town. Uh, roots from Corfu go back to the 8th century BC and the Byzantines, uh, but in the 15th century uh, we were passed over to the Venetians, and there's a lot of Venetian influence you can see within the old Corfu town itself. Uh, in the 19th century it was taken over by the French, then it became a British protectorate before it was uh, passed over to the Greek governments. So there's a lot of history. Um, the moat that um, you see the dinghy passing through has got a little current coming the other way so it's uh, it's quite shallow quite tricky but people have been living in this cut for years and uh, it's yeah it's interesting to see look at this old boat for example it's uh, wrecked at the bottom there one of my main reasons for taking this journey is that we came into Garutza Bay literally on fumes. Um, the motor was running rough, it was so low in the tank. And I put the last 40 litres of diesel from the cherry guns into the tank so we could actually get into the bay. So I wanted to find a petrol station that I could go and fill the, uh, the jerry cans with. Um, bearing in mind that my back is still killing me with the the rough seas that we've been having, I've not really had a lot of chance to rest it, particularly with the outboard playing up. Um, and the nearest petrol station that I can find appears to be the other side of the citadel, um, where the ferry port is. So I'm taking this dinghy ride just to uh, do a bit of explana exploration and see if I can find where we can... Um, get some diesel. How many times have I fallen for your every promise you never deliver? How many times all the words that you said had me mixing the sweet with the bitter? But I know what you're saying, no need no explaining. You're making me shake and shiver. You're shining your shoes, but hey, I got news. I ain't falling for all of that glitter this time. As ready as I can be this time I'll be running free I've been afraid to 
to go out in the night just to fall on my deepest desire How many times did I call it a day Leaving all of my hopes in the fire I know what you're saying Don't need no explaining You're making me shake and shiver You're shining your shoes But hey, I got news I ain't falling for all of that glitter This time As ready as I can be This time I'll be running free Cause my heart is rising I'm taking it step by step I'm running and running I'm not slowing down just yet This time As ready as I can be This time I'll be running My heart is rising I'm taking it step by step I'm running, running I'm not slowing down just yet Strelka, Strelka Miesta So you can't now, can you? Stupid dog Right, Truff, it's time to give you a clip. It is. Bit of a short one this week, sorry, but uh, there's been a lot going on. Consider liking, subscribing, and get notified of uh, next week's video. Thank you.